The United Kingdom became the center of the free world as ex exiled European governments took refuge here. From crisis, unity grew. But concerns for the Soviet Union were mounting. Combat on the Eastern Front was ferocious and Stalin's Red Army vulnerable. So a raid was planned on the German occupied port of Dieppe. The Canadians were to provide the majority of the personnel and they would bear the deepest wound. As for the 6,000 men who fought, 4,000 were captured, wounded or killed. The Prime Minister of Canada. Durant la Deuxième Guerre mondiale, mon grand-père, James Sinclair, a combattu aux côtés de plus d'un demi-million de Canadiens courageux. Peu de gens ont servi leur pays de façon plus héroïque que ceux qui se sont battus à Dieppe. This is the citation of Lieutenant Colonel Cecil Merritt, who was awarded the Victoria Cross, the first Canadian to be awarded a Victoria Cross in World War II. From the point of landing, his unit's advance had to be made across a bridge in Pourville, which was swept by very heavy machine gun, mortar, and artillery fire. The first parties were mostly destroyed and the bridge thickly covered by their bodies. A daring lead was required. Waving his helmet, Lieutenant Colonel Merritt rushed forward shouting, come on over, there's nothing to worry about here. He thus personally led the survivors of at least four parties in turn across the bridge. Quickly organizing these, he led them forward. And when held by enemy pillboxes, he again headed rushes, which succeeded in clearing them. After several of his runners became casualties, he himself kept contact with his different positions. Although twice wounded, Lieutenant Colonel Merritt continued to direct the unit's operations with great vigor and determination. He then coolly gave orders for the departure and announced his intention to hold off and get even with the enemy. When last seen, he was collecting Bren and Tommy guns and preparing a defensive position which successfully covered the withdrawal from the beach. Lieutenant Colonel Merritt is now reported to be a prisoner of war.